Oh yeah, good eye. Well, there might be a few of you out there that think that yoga is just for townies. These downtown Ponzi yoga studios. Well, that's a load of cobblers. As every self-respecting farmer knows, yoga is good for everyone, even for down at the farm. So today we're going to do a few stretches you can do out in the paddock with the girls. One guy, you might be able to spot him. Or down at the wool shed or at the dairy shed. So, give it a go, eh? Alright. Well, let's get started. We'll start with a side stretch. Breath in, arms raised, really high, as high as you can go. Trying to keep those shoulders down though. Right hand on left wrist. Breath out, tilt over to the side. Feel that stretch through the left side of the body. Hips are still facing forward. It's a really good stretch. Breath in, back to centre, swapping the hand over on the wrist. Left hand on right wrist. Breath out, tilting to the left. And back to centre, give those arms a shake out. Right, we'll do palm tree. This is um, cabbage tree, whatever you like to call it. Hands interlaced together. On your head, palms facing upward. Breath in. Come up onto your tippy toes if you can. If your gummies aren't too stiff. This is a good balancer as well. And breath out. We'll do that one more time, eh? And breath out. Right. This is a personal favourite of mine. Really good chest opener. Interlace the hands together behind the back. Breath in. Tall spine, shoulders down. Breath out, folding over, hinging at the hips, bring the arms up if you can. If this is a bit tough, you can just bring your hands down your shins, towards your toes. And breath in slowly back up. Good one. Right, this is a shoulder stretch. Bring your right arm across your chest, drawing it in with your left forearm. This is really good for those tight shoulders. Hold here for a few breaths. Always remember to breathe. And other side. And now for our hips. Always get tight hips when you're on the quad bike for too long. So this is called a malasana squat, otherwise known as a yoga squat. So our feet are out reasonably wide on a bit of an angle. And when we come down into our squat, our knees are over our feet, over the same alignment. It's pretty important to protect our knees. And then we're going to push our elbows into the inside of our thighs. Long straight back. This is a great stretch for our hips, our ankles, our legs, and our spine. Also good for other things apparently too, but we won't go into that.
There you go. Coming back up nice and slow. Right, well you've probably all heard of the downward dog. It's a pretty well known yoga pose. So this one is a modified downward dog. And all you need is a gate, a post and batten fence. I wouldn't recommend it so much with an electric fence or a uh, shed wall. Right, so all you need to do is stand back from the, the gate or the fence or the wall far enough that you can have your arms outstretched long, like this. And you just let the weight of your body hang. And you should feel a really nice stretch through your arms, shoulders and back. And of course, breathe. Don't recommend this one so much if you've got any feisty animals in the paddock. And there you go, a really good stretch. Right, well, any self-respecting farm yoga practitioner will know that a yoga practice is not complete until you've done your balance pose. So because of the cow pat smear situation, a dancer's pose or your average tree pose a bit out of the question. You can't really go past a warrior three pose though. So let's give that one a go, eh? You can do this without anything, but I always find that uh, doing it with the chickens quite good. They like it too. So you just stand, stand uh, straight. Take your one leg up. Other arms outstretched. And there you have it. Other side. Right. Do you have to do it on both sides? And there you have it.